Sea Dream 4 is here and crushing the market. The question is, is it better than Nano Banana? In this video, I'll show you two free methods to use it. Yes, you heard that right, two free methods, because I'm genuinely happy when you can create freely. I'll also create viral images with both Sea Dream 4 and Nano Banana, so you can see the difference for yourself. Before diving into the demos, let me share what I found best about Sea Dream 4. Sea Dream 4 stands out for its lifelike realism and crisp 4K quality. Every detail, lighting, texture, and reflection feels natural and precise. It's also incredibly versatile, letting you mix photos, edit, or generate from scratch while keeping perfect proportions. What really sets it apart is control. Sea Dream 4 understands prompts deeply, delivering exactly what you picture. These are the reasons Sea Dream 4 sets a new standard in AI image generation. Before we move on to mind-blowing demos, I'll now show you two methods to use Sea Dream and Nano Banana for free. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, so YouTube keeps recommending more videos like this to you. I'm dropping the link for LM Arena below, your first stop for free access. LM Arena was created in 2023 by PhD students at Berkeley University to compare AI tools. When you open the page, here's what to do. Log in first, then click the image generation button below. Once you do that, click the direct chat tab at the top, then open the drop-down menu and select the model you want. As you can see, all models are listed. For example, I selected Sea Dream 4, and now I'm switching to Nano Banana. It is very easy. After selecting the model, you can use the chat box for text-based generation, or if you want to create an image, upload one using the Upload Image section to start generating. Another great free option is the Open Art app. It's one of the most useful tools I've discovered recently. It's a paid tool, but it gives you free credits, and you can make quite a few generations with those. Here's how it works. Click Start Creating Now. You'll see a page like this. Sign up and you'll instantly receive 40 free credits in your account. Plus, there's a reward system. Let me zoom in a bit to see it clearer. You can follow their social media pages to earn extra credits and collect 300 more free credits. I did the math for you. Each generation costs about 15 credits, which means you can make around 20 to 22 generations with your free balance. Let me show the models available in this tool. As you can see, all state-of-the-art models, including Sea Dream 4 and Nano Banana, are here available. They are constantly updating the list with new models. Now you know how to use new models for free with two different methods. If you're ready, let's start testing Sea Dream and Nano Banana head to head. For our first demo, we'll ask the models to combine three different images into one meaningful composition. The three images are a model, a city skyline, and a sports car. First, I open the image section in the Open Art app. Then, under the Model tab, I select Sea Dream. Here's the prompt I'm using. It basically describes the combination of three inputs with neon lights reflecting on the wet ground. You can pause the video to read the full details. Next, I upload the three images I showed earlier. Finally, in the lower section, you can change the output ratio. As you can see, there are many different ratios available. I'm setting it to widescreen. I'll do the exact same process with Nano Banana so we can have a direct comparison between both models. I'm starting the generation now. Let's take a look at the result. Yes, it turned out as I wanted. Neon lights, sunset, dusk vibe, and I think the coloring looks great. Before giving my final opinion, I'll also generate the same image using Nano Banana. I won't touch any settings. I'll just switch the model from Sea Dream to Nano Banana and start generating. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. Now, let's compare them side by side. Personally, I'm giving the point to Sea Dream. Here's why. In my prompt, I specifically asked for neon lights reflecting on a wet surface, and Sea Dream captured that perfectly. Nano Banana also has a bit of that effect, but you really have to look closely to notice it. Also, the fashion model placement looks better in Sea Dream. In Nano Banana's version, the model is standing awkwardly in front of an open car door. A bit of a logical flaw. 
So overall, my vote goes to Sea Dream for this round. Now, we'll create a brand new ad image from scratch for our next demo. For this one, we're going to use Bose headphones as the main product. Our input will be a photo taken in white box, and from that, we'll generate a complete ad image. Just like before, I enter my prompt. In it, I describe a realistic Gen Z person standing on a subway platform, eyes closed, and wearing the Bose headphones. I also ask the model to add text on top of the image. Let's see what happens. I upload the image and start the Sea Dream generation first. All right, here's the result. Not bad. The composition and colors look nice. There are two text placements. Not perfect, but good enough. Now, let's quickly generate the same ad with Nano Banana, keeping all the settings exactly the same. Okay, Nano Banana's generation is done. And wow, this one looks great too. Putting them side by side, I think the winner is pretty clear. Nano Banana takes it this time. The image quality is solid on both, and both captured what I wanted. A train passing by, a calm Gen Z person with eyes closed, lost in the sound. But when it comes to text placement, Sea Dream really missed the mark. It added two text blocks, while Nano Banana nailed it. Nano Banana even put the Bose logo under the headline text, making it look ad ready right out of the box. So this round clearly goes to Nano Banana. For this next demo, we're going to do something interesting. We'll use three reference images, as you can see on the screen. Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and a simple stick figure I drew myself. I hope you liked my drawing. I'll ask the models to create an image based on these references, where one person is lifting weights and the other is standing beside watching, both in a similar stick figure-like pose. I'll generate the image first with Sea Dream, then with Nano Banana again for comparison. All right. Sea Dream's generation is complete. Let's take a look. Hmm, okay, it's not bad. The pose works, but their faces look very similar, but overall it did place the characters correctly. Now let's see what Nano Banana can do. Running the same prompt now. And wow, the result looks much more natural. When we put both side by side, the difference is clear. The winner here is definitely Nano Banana. It looks like a real photo. Almost as if Elon Musk is actually lifting weights while the Sam Altman beside him watches. Sea Dream's version, on the other hand, looks more like a rough placement than a real scene. Sea Dream was a bit lazy in this production, I guess. So once again, the point goes to Nano Banana in this round. In this demo, I'll be using this reference image to test retouching capabilities. First, I'll use this prompt to add color and then I'll apply this prompt to zoom out the image. From now on, to save time, I'll skip straight to the final results. Here's the Sea Dream result from the coloring prompt. Looks good, the coloring is nicely done. And this is the Nano Banana result, also quite good. Looking at them side by side, I have to say Nano Banana looks more realistic. The Sea Dream image still feels a bit too AI-like, while Nano Banana's output genuinely looks like a photo taken today. Now let's check the zoom out results. Here is the Sea Dreams result. Its output is again pretty good. It filled in the unseen parts of the cafe scene quite well. Let's see the result from Nano Banana. It has a more natural look overall, though the head size is slightly too large. If we compare the proportions, Sea Dream handled them slightly better, especially when you look at the head size and scaling. In our first demo, Sea Dream was again better at arranging sizes of different elements. So in this test, it's basically a tie. Sea Dream did better in proportions, while Nano Banana nailed the realism. Now let's test how strong these models are at handling character consistency. For this demo, I'm using a photo of a smiling person. I am giving a prompt where I want the person to wear a hat with an AI Garage logo on it and have a more serious facial expression. Let's check the Sea Dream result first. I think it did a great job. The hat looks natural, the expression is more serious, and although I didn't ask it to remove the sunglasses, that's fine. Overall, it captured the idea really well. Now, let's see how Nano Banana did. So here's its result. To be honest, I tried multiple prompts with Nano Banana, 
but it just couldn't manage to make the person wear the AI garage cap properly. So in this round, the point goes to Sea Dream. Despite several prompt variations, Nano Banana couldn't execute both tasks together. Adding the hat and changing the face. Sea Dream handled the full request smoothly. All right, now let's create a brain rot social media post for a fictional pizza brand. Something fun and eye-catching for Instagram. First, I change the ratio setting to 1 to 1 for an Instagram-friendly format. This time, I won't be using any image input, just the text-to-video feature. Here's the prompt. I want a walking pizza roaming around the city streets, designed in a digital art style. Kind of cute and surreal at the same time. Let's see what Sea Dream comes up with first. All right, here's the result. And it looks adorable. Now, let's do the same with Nano Banana. Okay, here's its version. Putting them side by side, both are interesting. But my vote this time goes to Sea Dream. Here's why. Sea Dream's output focuses more clearly on the pizza character. Nano Banana's version, on the other hand, adds too many background elements, so the viewer's attention keeps bouncing around. Also, the pizza's face in Nano Banana's result looks a bit like it's photoshopped on, not naturally part of the scene. It feels like Nano Banana tried to be a bit too sophisticated, and in doing so, lost some of the charm. Sea Dream, however, nailed the balance. A cute walking pizza, surrounded by a city that's there but not distracting. So for composition and focus, this round's point goes to Sea Dream. So after all these tests, here's the bottom line. Sea Dream 4 shines with precision, control, and cinematic beauty, while Nano Banana impresses with realism and ad-ready compositions. Both are insanely powerful, and the best part is, you can try them free using the methods I showed you. If this video helped you discover something new, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. And if you love exploring new AI tools that boost your creativity and income, watch the next video on your screen right now. See you there.